I do a lot of different things. I personally want to keep it that way. And I've always kind of struggled with sharing information on social media because it's like, which Megan are we going to get today? Is it hurting your business? Is it growing your business? And quite frankly, I'm tired of it and I just want to be me. I didn't want prep to hinder some job opportunities that I was getting. And during this prep, I have performed again. I am traveling with the dance convention. I teaching more dance. My online fitness business is growing. I still have in-person clients. How do I make it all happen? I do have a support team, but I make it happen. I took a long time during the off season to love that body so I can also appreciate the one in prep instead of focusing on of like hating myself to the final product, if that makes sense. I already spent majority of my life trying to fight to be lean to fit in and we're trying to stand out. So a progress in my physique from the last time. And I don't want to start getting in my head comparing myself to other competitors that I quite honestly have no business comparing myself to. I am currently a natural athlete. I am new in this game. It's going to be harder for me. And I'm looking at people who have been in this game a long time. I needed things to be a little bit more silent so I could just put my head down and work. Beginning of prep was very, very boring. My meal plan has stayed the same. And and I just needed to take that time in order to be like, you can do this. You don't need your plan to change all the time. What am I going to put my focus on? And I put it in to the business that I want to grow, to the things that I want to grow and using all those things to supplement a bigger dream. I'm excited to finally step on stage again. Like it's been a long time. I love the stage. Got some surprises. <laughs> and I'm surprising myself daily. And so I will do better in trying to share more moving forward. I just feel like there's a time and a place that people need to take their journey, however they need to take their journey. When you can dig deep into yourself and figure out why you're doing something, and it's been interesting and hard to articulate, am I doing bodybuilding because the dance thing didn't work out. Am I doing bodybuilding because I just want to be lean and I hate my off season body? Am I doing bodybuilding because I truly love it and I love the push that I get out of myself, the reward that I see by sticking to something, sticking to a plan and not deviating from it? And the answer is yes, I love it. I love what I become out of prep. And it's not just the physical, I have such mental fortitude and I have such drive to be better in so many different areas of my life because I found bodybuilding.